Hail panda wands and fellow journeymen walking that illustrated Orktober path with me. You've been doing some orcs for the month? If so, uh, I'd love to see see some of those. Show me your green mini. <laughs> that sounded rude. Yeah, you can send it to me on uh, Twitter or tag me on Twitter or Instagram or anything like that. Love to see what the uh, fellow creators out there are working on this glorious month of Orktober. So for the latest piece I'm doing here, I start off going, okay, well, what if I did, uh, I've already done a couple of big old beefy, you know, bull hunk. I, I got that from, uh, what do you call it? 16 candles. I don't know what that means. So hopefully it's not offensive. <laughs> Oily bull hunk. Um, anyways, I started working on a female orc. I love me the female orcs, probably my favorite uh, next to female dwarves that uh, I like to play. Uh, and I have a sort of a fictitional, but somewhat based in the lore. Uh, I call her uh, Samara instead of like Samaro, the blade master. I have the blade mistress, whatever we you call it. Um, but I had started drawing it. I'm like, no, it just doesn't have the... I wanted whatever I was going to make to fill up the page, basically. So I had this idea of, okay, well, if I do a female orc, what if I do a bunch of orc faces around it, and I think you'll see what I'm getting at soon, and just sort of collage them together. And what I'm doing now is I'm using a feature called the warp uh, tool in Photoshop, and that allows you to kind of skew it so it kind of has like weird curves and stuff like that. Well, as you can see now, what I did was I wanted it to sort of be representative of the smoke coming out from uh, this small little fortress here, keep whatever uh, barracks, and... Uh, basically showing like this keep on is you know on fire and destroyed and in the smoke you see you know the silhouettes and faces of the orcs that overthrew it so the idea for the name of this picture what was it it was called oh in the wake of wolves and i thought that was kind of cool <laughs> i like that one there it's just like an orc mouth sticking out of the top well now you can't see it because i scrolled over <laughs> But you see how some of these are kind of like curved and angled weird? I thought that would be uh, cool. I didn't want to make it too like uh, blending in with the smoke and all that. I wanted it to be a cool picture where it, it was like, yeah, just cool mighty orc faces. But I didn't want to make it too subdued and all that. Anyways, this is just, like I said, a Orktober brutal doodle. So these things don't have to last forever. They just need to... Uh, you know, be good for now and uh, hopefully entertain you as I, you know, entertain me drawing it. Um, and I'm like, well, that's, that's a great idea. Then just do a bunch of cool orcs with various mouths open and agape and growling and yelling. And I kept my original uh, Samara uh, character up there uh, amidst the other, the brutes. But yeah, I thought that was kind of a fun one to do for this one. I have uh, some more ideas for more October pictures. Uh, someone had asked a question, uh, can I do a tutorial on more stylized humans? Uh, answer is sure, uh, but it has to wait till after uh, October. I'm going to try to do only orc stuff for this month, as well as I want to get in another couple of Halloween ones. So like I did the Frankie and Wolfman and all that, I want to do maybe Creature of the Black Lagoon type stuff or Phantom of the Opera or Hunchback or something like that. But I want to do a couple more. Uh, Halloween related ones. Also, I want to introduce you guys that don't know what my puckin' pumpkins are. Now, if you reverse the first two letters, I'm saying, uh, you know, effing pumpkins or whatever. But what it is, is basically just doodles like this, but they're all just demonic Halloween pumpkins. You know, they basically have the gourd head and, and the cutouts, but they got weird roots growing and all that. If you go back um, in my Twitter history, there's probably a bunch of them, probably. Uh, I don't know, many, many years ago, uh, but you could find them there. I also do something uh, at Christmas time called Twisted Christmas. And that's basically, you know, monstrous, devilish, demonic, Santa Claus, elves, you know, possessed presents, you know, just weird stuff like that. I, I got those from when I had my own website. Uh, it was the Art of Sam or Art of Samwise. And I used to sell prints. And I would do like holiday specials, Christmas, Halloween, stuff like that, where for Christmas, if you bought, you know, $20, $30, whatever it was, the number worth, uh, I would include a free 
Twisted Christmas Doodle. And I'm looking at doing that again. I'm going to get my art site back up. This time it'll be called The Art of Samwise. And I'll be able to sell a bunch of my old prints as well as new prints. And potentially even do things like where I'll gather all my October stuff and put it into like a sketchbook or something like that. Um, but yeah, so the question, will I do some more how to draw tutorials? Uh, the person referenced my orc, my pandaren, my dwarf. Yes, but I'll probably mix it up a little bit. Those I did for work, and the work-related stuff has to get approved and all that stuff. But if I just draw a stylized human, like in my normal sort of thing, what I was going to do was I was going to do, uh, you know, draw a Viking, draw a pirate, draw an outlaw, you know, things like that. Um, and then I can kind of do my style of stuff. But, you know, it, it, if I'm going to be doing, you know, blizz-related stuff, you know, I got to make sure I get approvals and stuff like that. Um, this isn't technically Blizzard stuff. It's just a bunch of, you know, orcs and stuff like that. It's not not uh, specific. So I think I'm good to go on that. <laughs> Let's see. Another question I had uh, on a previous one was, have I seen Primal? Uh, the answer is yes, I've seen it, but I haven't watched it yet. I've seen an episode or two that were free at the time, but... I want to wait until they're done. I think the second season just came out and I am not one for waiting a week to see the next episode and waiting a week or waiting a thing for the new season. I hate all that. I only do it with Cobra Kai and that's because I grew up on Karate Kid, right? Like I loved, loved that show. I used to watch the, the uh, sparring scenes before I'd go to my martial arts class when I was 13 and 14 and loved Karate Kid 2, kind of like Karate Kid 3 and then, uh, you know, after that, I kind of just dropped out of it. I didn't, I didn't uh, get into it. But those three are friggin' awesome, or at least uh, mostly awesome. Uh, but no, I haven't seen Primal, though. I love that guy's work. What's his name? Gen Gendi, Gendry, Tartikoff, something like that. I, isn't he doing? I think he's doing a Popeye, or was. And I was so excited about that. That Popeye looks so friggin' awesome. Popeye is one of my favorite childhood cartoon characters. My character Grimbeard is a lot of him is based off of Popeye. He's got like the, I call it grim speak, but he has like, you know, Popeye speak, how Popeye is always butchering words and, you know, pronunciation and stuff like that. You know, grim speak has his own stuff where he messes up the words and stuff like that. And he's also a, uh, he's not, well, he's not a sailor. He's a captain, Captain Grimbeard. Um, yeah, so I am looking forward to seeing that. I'm just going to kind of wait until at least multiple seasons then are out. You know, I, I don't like, I don't like having to wait for that stuff and live my life around the the uh, schedules of the you know the different shows and stuff like that. I'd rather just watch the whole thing all the way through, you know. Um, let's see what else. There was a comment, and I know this was a compliment. This was not bad. Uh, my art has an ugly quality to it, and uh, what what they were talking about was it felt lived in, and. Kind of like that name of the show we were talking about, Primal. It 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 feels more primitive and primal and savage, like especially like the orc stuff and the and the dwarves they were referencing. But yes, I absolutely try to make it to where these these characters feel alive and and have an emotion. Like I hate I hate the the images that are just these beautifully rendered things, and it's just a bunch of people milling about, like just doing nothing. It's like make them do something. Now you could say these guys aren't doing anything here, but you know, growling and all that. But I mean, there's an energy to it. And uh, later on in the, in the video, I'm going to do some quick colors on it and it, that those quick colors try to capture it too. But yes, thank you. I, I there is a, 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 an ugly quality in my work and I, I know exactly what you mean. I know that's not a, a, a diss or anything, but yeah, I like the, sh I, I, I always used to use the term what's cooler than a stained glass, like more beautiful than a stained glass window, but a, like a broken stained glass window. It's something that is beautiful, but is flawed, right? I, I love that. So that's why most of my characters don't have symmetrical armor or things, or that's why like I'll do something, you know, like one of my pictures, um, it was one of my female dwarves and I just did a standard Sam, <laughs> Sammyism or Sammy trope where she looked pretty and then I just gave her a scar across her face. Like something had to be marred about it. I don't want to have it just plain and standard and all that. I would much rather have a cracked stained glass window than a pristine stained glass window. There's just something cool, um, cooler about that. 
Um, let's see. Uh, I believe it was the same person. Uh, well, real quick one. How many uh, drawings for October? Or sorry, October. <laughs> October. Am I going to do? And the answer is as many as I can. Uh, it seems like right now today's the ninth. I've done three, but that's because I have to do it while I'm videoing. And if I was just sitting there drawing something, it'd be a lot easier. But I'm trying to make videos while I'm doing October. So as many as I can, my friend. Uh, Hanna Barbera style. Like the comment was, my art has some of the the aesthetics of like those old Saturday morning cartoons or something like that. And that is a great compliment. Thank you so much because that is where I live. That's where I grew up. Seventies, eighties cartoons, you know, all the way up until Voltron and Thundercats and sort of the, the end of the 80s. After that, I, I didn't really watch cartoons too much. But yes, I love those cartoons. I am more of a fan of the Bugs Bunny than I am of Disney. I love the Hanna-Barbera stuff. Uh, I love the Warner Brothers stuff, everything. Uh, I'm actually working on a project with my buddy Alex Horley, and it is basically in the style of 70s and 80s cartoons, comics, and our specific goal was to do something that was uh, a combination of what would you get if you com if you uh, combined Thundar the Barbarian or He-Man with Frazetta and that's the the basis of what we're working on right now so I can't show any uh, uh, it's not that I can't I'm not going to show anything yet because we're still working on stuff but we're looking at doing like an Indiegogo or Kickstarter and doing a you know full-on like 80 page cool graphic novel together Horley and I you know we've been buddies for years and it's fun to just work with him he has such a great style and and we work well together so yeah that's basically all the questions I got uh, please uh, send any more if you have them I'm going to be doing another video soon hopefully tonight and I'll get it out in the early week so happy Orktober keep those uh, pencils sharp and uh, remember your ABCs my friends always be creating Cheers and beers. We'll talk to you later. Hail!